As I step off at the surface at Torres Litro, we'd like to dedicate the first step of Apollo 17 to all those who made it possible. Apollo 17 Commander Gene Cernan, who was the last American astronaut to set foot on the moon, has died at the age of 82. Cernan was known for his dedication to space exploration and for returning to Earth with a message of peace and hope for all mankind. I wish I could take everybody in the world back to the moon with me and let them look back at the Earth. If I could do that, I think the world today would be a much different place. Born in Chicago in 1934, Eugene Andrew Cernan's early dreams of being a pilot were born while watching fighter planes in movie tone newsreels. In 1956, he graduated with a degree in electrical engineering from Purdue University, the same alma mater as the first man on the moon, Neil Armstrong. Cernan later earned a master's degree in aeronautical engineering and at one time was a Navy attack pilot. Then, in 1963, NASA selected him to be one of 14 members of its third astronaut class. Three years later, his first mission had him pilot the flight of Gemini 9. He became the second American to walk in space, spending more than two hours outside the spacecraft. His next mission, in 1969, was a dress rehearsal for the moon landing. He piloted the Apollo 10 lunar module to within nine and a half miles of the moon's surface. I like to tell Neil, I'm the guy who painted a white line in the sky so we wouldn't get lost. <laughs> Astronauts Captain Eugene Cernan, Commander Ronald Evans, and scientist Dr. Harrison Jack Schmidt say In December 1972, he went back to the moon as a commander of Apollo 17, NASA's last lunar exploration flight. Cernan guided the lander, named Challenger, into a lunar valley called Taurus Littrow, with Harrison Jack Schmidt at his side. We're about, I don't know, 150 miles above the surface. And I'd watch the sun come up over the southwestern part of the United States. And, and it, was, it was truly spectacular. The two spent more than three days on the lunar surface, exploring and collecting data. We hope that this will be a symbol of what our feelings are, what the feelings of the Apollo program are, and a symbol of mankind that we can live in peace and harmony in the future. After Apollo 17, Cernan helped develop the U.S.-Soviet Apollo Soyuz project before retiring from NASA in 1976. Five years later, he began his own aerospace consulting company. He eventually became chairman of an engineering firm that worked on NASA projects. In 2011, Cernan tried to ensure he wouldn't be the last American to walk on the moon, testifying before Congress to push for a return. In all, Cernan logged 566 hours and 15 minutes in space more than 73 hours of them on the moon's surface. The flag will be there. I put my daughter's initials in the surface just before we left. Be there forever, however long forever is. And a final word from the last man on the moon. I'd like to just let what I believe history will record that America's challenge of today has forged man's destiny of tomorrow.